Hello guys, what is going on? It is GT2 King here again today with another trading tutorial. And today we're going to be going over how you can get automatic trade confirmations for the mobile device and you can idle in games for trading cards. So basically what you want to do is go to this link that I'll have in the description. And you want to select download and the zip. Now if you don't have a Dropbox account, you can just skip it by clicking no thanks. And wait for this to download. It should pop up any second. Alright, so now that you have it downloaded, it should pop up here. And it should open it with WinRAR or whatever you use. And then what you want to do is make a folder on your desktop. I'm just going to call this bot. And you just move everything except this folder. Or you could just move everything, it doesn't really matter. And wait for that to finish. And now once it's all extracted, you can close this. And you open this, and first thing you want to do is look over the readme to get all the info you need. You need your identity and shared secrets so you can log in and confirm offers. And then you want to go into your config once it loads up. Okay. And you want to put your username, let's say my username, in the quotes along with your password. And I'll do that in a sec. Also, you want to put your shared secrets and your identity secret. Now here, I'll get I'll actually go after into these after at the end of the video. But yeah, let me be right back once I put all the secrets and stuff in. All right, so in the end, it should look something like this. Like my username is this, my password isn't this. I just have it set to something different. And your shared and identity secrets. So let me put the password. Well, now, now, let me put my password in. Alright, once you save the file, you just want to run the start bot dot bat. And it should log in. All the node modules are already installed, so, yeah. See, it just got online. And it's in Team Fortress 2. Now, let's see if it's working. So, this is the testing account. Let me go to my main account and send it in a trade offer. Offer a trade. Now I don't have Steam Desktop Authenticator or my phone running, keep that in mind. Let's just do for a scrap for a scrap. Seems like a good deal. And it says in order to, my, you must verify it in the Steam Mobile app. Oh. Let's open our trade offers now. Sent offers. It's, it's awaiting mobile confirmation, so I have it set to pull for the confirmations every 15 seconds, so it should be sent. Oh, and there we go, it was sent, and let me see. 15 trade offers. There we go, we, should get, we got the offer, so it basically does it for market too, so that's all nice. Okay, so now for the pull data and the game ID, what you want to do is edit with notepad. One sec, let me remove my password. Okay, now that it's up, um, pull date, pull time is how many seconds for it to pull confirmations. If you want to, if you're not a really avid trader, you could do like 60 to check every minute. But 15 is a nice um, time. Idle game is the idea of the game you want to idle. So whatever game you have in your library, it's like idle it. So let's say, I don't have Call of Duty in the bot, so I do have War Thunder though, so let's find the War Thunder game ID. Once it loads, there we go. War Thunder. Okay, doesn't want to open it. Okay, and the app ID is this app slash, so 23690. And you just paste that in, and let me put the code in. Okay, now when you've set the game, um, you just you just run the bot again, and wait for it to load up. Okay, and there we go. It's in War Thunder. So now another thing you could do if you don't want the game idling, you could just go into your config, and you could just remove this whole line, and it won't do anything. So, for example, if I run this now, it would look something like this. It would just say I'd be online, basically. Which is also helpful because you can attract more traders if you're online. But yeah, see, it's just online. So that's a nice feature. 
Um, but that'll be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, let me know. And if you have any problems, let me know as well. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.